three, two, one. Hello in YouTube land. Hello to my fellow subscribers. Hello to the new people, to the channel, everybody who saw the thumbnail, stumbled in wondering, what is that? Is that He-Man? Yes, that is He-Man in the Wind Raider. That's Skeletor down there. This is from the Mattel Mega Constructs line. Now, I was going to pass up on this line, but since this thing retails for 1990, I think 1997? For 1999, they had it on clearance today for fifteen dollars. Also, the Mega Constructs uh, figure pack. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's turn it around now. This is the back of the box. Mega Constructs. You're supposed to put the Wind Raider together. There's the website there, and then there's that pack that's uh, available at Walmart for right now fifteen dollars on clearance. And it says, the Wind Raider takes flight. Help He-Man defeat the evil Skeletor with an airborne attack when you pose the Wind Raider's wings and tail fin. Then fire the working winch hook and rope to defend Castle Grayskull, which is available for like 250 bucks or so on Walmart.com. Very expensive. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> Maybe later <laughs> to mark it down. But that's a lot of money. Anyway. Uh, I think Pixel Dan got sent one for free uh, by Mattel. Go to his channel, Pixel Dan, and uh, you can see his uh, Castle Grayskull. Now, this says right here, 198 pieces. GCP-90. Eight years plus. Wind Raider Attack. This harkens back to the 1980s with the cool artwork. He-Man always fighting, always battling. Now... I was looking at this earlier. It's got like a perforated line here. So I think you just push it in like that. And then pry it open. Okay, I pried it open. Uh, wow, look at all these pieces. <laughs> That's uh, my cell phone going on and off. So you even got to put He-Man together. It's all in little pieces. More parts. More parts. And... There's the instructions. Okay. Throw that on the ground. Here's the instructions how to do it. Okay. Cool little book. Expand your collection. Okay. I want you to put... Uh, oh, look at that. He-Man first. Alrighty then. Uh, I'm going to do a jump cut here. And then we'll come back after I assemble the Wind Raider. And I'll let you know how long it took me to do it. Because, see, you're going to have to put a lot of pieces together. See that? Just to build the base and get it going. So, jump cut. And then you'll see the Wind Raider put together. I could film it on and show you what it takes to do it. But, uh... That'll take a long time. Maybe I should film it. Maybe I shouldn't do a jump cut. All right, let's see. He-Man first. Now, okay, number one. Okay. There's no number on the bag. I don't see anything. Just says Mega Constructs. There's another bag here of parts. Don't see anything. I just see, uh, well, He-Man's in there, but uh, it's not very clear on what to, what, which bag to use first. It doesn't tell you. It says 1X. Mega Constructs. Okay, is it that one? Is it this one? 
See, they, they want, okay, look. Number one, see that? What next? I guess I'll start with the He-Man one. All right, we'll do a jump cut, uh, and I'll build it, and then we'll be back. And we're back. Uh, I put the Wind Raider together. <laughs> it was a lot of pieces. And uh, your Skeletor. I mean, you got to put even the figures together. I doubled up the stands. That way I won't lose one. One's for He-Man if you're going to uh, pose them without the stand. Uh, they got a little thing in there. You can put the sword in the back so you can hold the weapon back there. Uh, soft vinyl. You get the torso. Then there's a peg. That's like a T hook. You hook, put the legs on there. You put the crotch piece. You see the the longer crotch piece to the front. Then you put the the loin cloth. And uh, these are super. Really, are super articulated for such a small figure. I'm very impressed with these. I have been avoiding this line, uh, but on clearance, it's a good deal. Now, on the Wind Raider, there's He-Man there. See, he can hold on to those things to steer it. Uh, I modified it from the plants. Now, there are no words in the instruction manual. All it does is uh, show you photos of what bricks to put where because believe me it's a lot of bricks see there's the wheels there's no third wheel in the front now there are some temporary pieces they're light blue uh they don't want you to use them they want you to remove them afterwards but i wanted to use every single piece that i used also he meant sitting on the backrest i don't know if you can see it in there there's some brown cushions they're supposed to be uh, he's supposed to be leaning on them but I modified the Wind Raider, made it longer. See these blue pieces here? I added those. And this is that fin section. Modified that. That way He-Man could sit on the cushions. And he had more room to lean back. So he has more space to sit in there. I was having trouble seating him in there. Uh, the wings do move up and down. Now, I did have to make a knot in here and tie the anchor to it. See? Just like the toy from the 80s. See, you rotate it this way. I think either way would work, actually. And then just stick it right in that little uh, plastic hook thing. Uh, it's just like the one from the 80s. It's great detail. I didn't want to have any loose pieces, so I used them all. Uh, I, I just I was racking my brain how to how to make it uh, where He-Man could actually sit there on those cushions instead of leaning on them. And uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I don't think you can put the axe on him. Uh, now, if he had the power sword... It probably fit on his back. He does have that little space for it. But uh, he is holding the battle axe. You know, he's fully posable. He's holding on to the, the, that little steering bar. Which is pretty cool. Uh, there were a lot of pieces. Look, there's the flame coming out. There were some pieces left over that I couldn't figure out where, so I added them to the bottom. Okay. See, they're in the front. But I made it work, so yeah, uh, he actually has cushions back there. So yeah, they don't want you to use these, these blue ones. They're just temporary underneath to hold everything. So I used them back here to modify it, so... You might want to do the same thing if you buy this Wind Raider. You can change it up. That way he has more room. 
remember I used to have some uh, those built to suck the B BTS or no not BT not built to suck <laughs> built to rule the GI Joe uh, sets <laughs> they were they were mixing Legos with Joes and uh, <laughs> they were they were uh, you know vehicles that you could put together and Joes could ride them but they were basically Lego parts. Now this is Mega Constructs, and uh, those were Hasbro. So, if I find the the box I have them in, I could probably add parts to this Wind Raider. Just mix and match parts. I'm sure even some generic Lego would work. Make it a two seater, make it wider. I don't know. Sky's the limit. Use your imagination. But yeah, go to Walmart. These are fifteen dollars right now on clearance. The next video I'll probably show you the all the figures that come in that pack and uh, yeah let me land it here and here's uh, Skeletor right there so yeah it's a good deal hope you like the review put one of these together you're gonna have fun I never use it at Legos I mean just those built to uh, build to rule ones back in the day uh, so yeah, it did take me a while to figure out where went what went where because the bags were not labeled. It didn't tell you like this is bag one, bag two, bag three. Assemble this, assemble that. It just kind of just wants you to throw everything on the table, open all the bags, line up all the pieces like a puzzle, and then just figure it out. You know, but I did. There it is. I guess that's the thumbnail right there. Right, how's that? All right, thumbnail. <laughs> All right, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you hate it, give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'm sending out tons of positive love and energy, no matter what part of the world you're in. Hope you're doing okay. Have a marvelous day. It's Armando signing out. Have a good one. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.